man. This one right here is heavy, man. You know, this is somebody who's actually a part of the team here at the Sound Lab. Somebody who's been on the podcast recently at the end of last year. Yeah. Um, nigga we're did a video about, right after the interview. Yeah, like like literally <laughs> kind of during the interview, nigga, on some shit. My man, Devo the Genius, <laughs> Champion Sound. This right here, this is a long project. And I like long projects because it really lets you soak in the music. You know what I mean? 19 tracks, 53 minutes. Take it away. You can go first. You want me to go I first? I went first already, so I uh, knew you was going to do... Go ahead. All right. So, um, production, amazing. Like, engineering production, yep. five. Yep. Um, it passed the volume test, all different volume tests for me. Like, the shit, the shit was... It was more crafted on the production and engineering. Yes. So much so that I had to circle back to listen to the lyrics, right? Mm. So now, when I circle back, cohesiveness on point, right? So like, the records are not, the records are not the same, but you hear the similarity in the records. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my favorite record is with uh, Samba. Okay. Hey, Yo, shout out Samba. Shout out Samba. Yeah. That is a fucking. Yes. That is a joint. Oh. Shout out my man Samba. That's a joint. Pause. Yeah. And um. Then yeah. What was so now? Here we go. Um. Uh huh. Not everybody that you friends with that makes music, you make you got to make music with. Mm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just because they see you cooking, your shit's on fire, you're producing, you're, you're in the zone, and the nigga's like, fuck it, yeah, I'm a rap too. And, 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 and I got a lot of bars in there, a lot of basketball bars, which I enjoyed, but a lot of bars that just sound like he's just trying niggas out. This is like their MCAS of rap. Okay. Like, this, yeah. this is where I'm going to combat you on that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All great groups start like that. Right? When, when it, and when it really is one captain and a whole bunch of other niggas who have potential and he puts them in position to play. Right? And that's why he's the coach. Right? And, and that's, I, that aspect of it, I liked. I liked that he was coach and he, he brought his niggas on and, you know, dudes who a lot of people may not heard of, like Ernays, right? Like Arrow. Mm -hmm. Arrow. Um, MP. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's man niggas I ain't hear of. Um, and, but I, every time I heard their verse, it stood out to me. They were yeah. good verses. They were good. They weren't think bad. About, think, about, think about 36 Chambers, right? You know, Wu-Tang. You had Nigga. a whole bunch of niggas who might have not even really cared to rap, but RZA was man in that ship, and he was like, yo, mm -hmm. <coughs> bring your asses to the studio and make this happen. That's what Devo I don't, did. I don't like. I don't like that comparison. Why? <laughs> because you just compared Wu Tang. Yeah, but it's com it's so you're gonna tell the... me everything. Everybody on Wu Tang was incredible. They weren't. In they weren't incredible, Chiz. But these, you not gonna take thirty six chambers and put it up against Championship Sound right now. You're I, not I understand that. that. I'm not doing that. But okay. what I'm saying is the right. concept. Of, yeah. of the group of yeah. the friends, people together of you, and you putting your people together, the best out of them. But they were also weren't all friends. Remember that as well. This they, is true. They came through because the they skill. Had, they, they had, it was, they had it was, one it was, common denominator, yeah. and that was RZA. It was, and that's the same concept here. Because I spoke to somebody mm -hmm. who was on this project, and he even told me he said, "Yo, man, I'm doing this for Devo." Okay. This ain't about them other niggas. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Some of them niggas is nice, but it ain't about them. It's about Devo. That's why I'm here. So it's the same concept is what I'm saying. I've heard producer albums before, and producer albums are really hell-bent on the sound of how they hear their tracks. Now, if that comes from your friends and then you hear the sound, then by all means, that's that's great. Yes, it's a Wu Tang project where he sought out, you know, those he was looking for, kind of. 
because, like I said, not everybody was his friend, and not everybody lasted on Wu Tang either, man. And so, but so, either way, I the story enjoyed showed this. Itself. I enjoyed this, <laughs> and I liked the collaboration. I liked the way I liked the way this pushed out in regards to the marketing the, was amazing. Thank yes. you. Shout the out to Boogie. Out, yeah, shout out to Boogie. Shout out to everybody who was part of it because, like, yeah. I seen the collaboration effort. Yeah. Like, just from the outside in, being in this area, being in the zone, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So, this project was dope. Like it was, it was definitely a display of Devo and his genius, nigga. Yes. For real. Yes. Yeah. It was very well crafted, for sure. Mm -hmm. Nicole. So I actually didn't rate it because I know that I am a biased person. So <laughs> I'm like. I, I love Devo's music and I love a lot of people that are on the project. Mm -hmm. So immediately I was already excited about it. Right. Um, and then being here at the lab, watching it happen. Right. Like I got the behind the scenes experience of it all. So like I was there right after they made the excuse me song. I was here for the video. Like, yeah. So like I was a big part of the project. So that's why I didn't really want to rate it. But like if anybody says anything about the project, I'm like, bruh. Yeah, this shit's phenomenal, it and nobody can tell me different. Like it's <laughs> the skits in it, everything just like flows perfectly. You can listen to, you can listen to it from the start to the end with like sometimes not even realizing that like you're already halfway through because you're right. like that much into it. I I really like this project a lot. Um, all right. So my opinion is this, man. This was great. I love this. I love the concept. I love the. Salute to Jay Dilla, champion sound, Mad Lib, man. Um, the way it was done was done very fucking well. Yeah. So shout out to Devo for yeah. orchestrating this whole concept and putting it together and bringing his guys together to do that, right? Um, cohesion was perfect. Um, production, engineering, lyricism, all of these things were amazing. They were immaculate. The only thing that kills me on the authenticity part is the dream team title because the dream team were Olympians like they were the best of the best right can we say that about all these guys right can we I, I can't I, and, and look as it's, much as it's about as, as much as I love these guys can we say that about every single artist who was on this? Huh? Are they the best of the best? If you had to create a Boston, Massachusetts, however the fuck you want to do it, dream team. Not a basketball team. That was my beef, was the name of the team, the dream team. You know what it is? Because these niggas really all played ball. So yeah, like, so, so, yeah. so the, that, that, that concept to them was great. It was exciting for them. Some of these niggas, nobody fucking knows who they are, right? And that's more about them than it is about anything else. So how are you the dream team? Would you be selected to the Olympian rap team? I don't really think, though, but it's not. That's really how I take it. Well, that's yeah, how I took okay. it. And that's don't how even you know take that's, it. That, that's how it's I not really it. about. It's the Olympian team. It's, they have yeah, the, they but have it's the, not really about them saying, oh, like, we are the best of the best out here. It was just that's what the dream team was. But what I'm saying is, are it was, you shitting it was, me? It was a theme. the dream team was crazy. It was a theme that was the used. The dream team was incredible and forced themselves to be the best that they could be at. Do their you know so who, who, who was who was Christian Leitner? Because <laughs> Christian Leitner was the Christian Leitner was on the dream Actually, team, the and they made a skit. <laughs> they made a skit on the album where they talked about how. Christian Leitner was the last yes. pick. Yes. And that he was, was Joe Saza. It must have been okay. Joe Saza. So that, yes, that okay. was Joe Saza. That, like, a lot of those things, like, kind of, like, went with the story of so they the were, team also. So, so they were going it, with again, it. Again, it wasn't. They already have a Christian Leitner. So who's <laughs> Michael Jordan? Who is Michael so, Jordan? Nobody there's was a Michael Jordan. debate. There's a debate. Who is Michael Who Jordan? Who is Michael uh, Jordan? I think it was between, it was between um, Aunt, Bell, Aunt Bell that and Najee. Yeah. Aunt Bell and Najee. It was a debate between Aunt Bell and Najee. And okay. that's the other thing. Like, the roles, like, change depending on how well you, you better get them, Carl. You better get them, no. You better get them back. You got to get them back. <laughs> <laughs> look, man. Look, look, look. And 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 when, you, and, and when you talk about, when you, when you talk about sport opinion, 
that's all subjective too, right? So again, it goes back into the music, man. Like that was what I fucking battled myself with this whole time rating this project. So focus on music. And therefore, no, well, no. Authenticity is one of the fucking yes, yes, one yes. Of the, blah, blah, you know what I'm saying? And it has to go in that because we're not asking, are you niggas out here? Shooting niggas, all you niggas out here releasing no, no, drugs because no, no, no. that's not what was happening. Keep here. me out yeah. your right? affidavits, please. I am not we're, your code defendant. We're, we're You're asking, just like, none we're of asking, you guys are Michael Jordan. <laughs> no, oh, sir. yeah, we're asking, none of you guys are Michael Jordan. Effort, is this collaborative effort really the dream team? That's how I interpreted it. Or are we all just friends that play 2K um, together online? So, I can see that. I can see how you could interpret so, that. So, way. so, therefore, Devo, my brother, my boy, dad. Where are the diamonds? You, where are the diamonds? <laughs> you put together a really phenomenal project, bro. I know you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this. You put together a good, great group of artists. Um, the music was great. It was crisp, my nigga. I will listen to this over and over and over and over again, bro. There's no debating that. I love this project. But what we do? Out of five red cups. Hating ass niggas. <laughs> we gave Champion Sound a solid 4.9. Yo. Out of five rank cups. Y'all are trolling me. <laughs> That's not bad. Shout out my man Devo. That's Devo. not bad. That's not bad. Shout out everybody else. That's not bad. That's that. That's that. That's, 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 that's what happened. That was yo look the lowest score that somebody gave who was a four and a half, and I thought four and a half was crazy. Yeah, I yeah. Thought, I thought four point five is crazy. That I was, was when I seen that I was like, I, don't I thought have it was time. definitely more than four and a half. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> nigga, it was, you know, everybody, everybody had that little smidge though, dog. I mean, there was some niggas who was already in the pool, like. <laughs> I said it too. Well, you know I, mean, but I didn't it, finish it, like, that's, like, why, that's like, why I didn't rate. But it, you mean. know, it was you had to just you know watch the you had to listen, really go back and listen as a consumer, just step outside from being cool and seeing it all. Like I get it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I really loved it, but here we are, man. <laughs>